movement So yeah, if m movement data is null pointer, we're just going to return stationary. Otherwise, we'll do all the rest of this garbage, and we need to change movement object to have this. So position. So get movement set is there now. Animation controller component can now call that. Um, let's see, do we have M parent? Yeah, so we have our parent. So if, yeah, we need a default. If in parent does not equal null pointer and in parent get movement, uh, what is it? Get movement controller does not equal null pointer. Uh, say set equals in parent get movement controller get animation. Movement set. Yeah. And we are going to return get animation by name and set. Type. What kind of type? Every type? Or just custom? We'd have to go through everything, wouldn't we? Oh, that's awful. Is there anything even on our... Our utils? Our entity data, there's get animations, get animations for type, get animations for set and type. Yeah, I guess basically... We need to get the movement data, so if... If M parent is null pointer, we need to return negative one. So we need entity. Do we already have all the animations, maybe? We already have all the animations. Okay, so we're fine. Alright, so we just need to do... Well, screw it. It didn't pass in a type, so... Just asking for a name, so just do this. For animation data wrapper, wrapper in animations. If wrapper dot wrapper what? Unique name equals animation name. Then we return wrapper get wrapper flip look get unique ID. Just return negative one.
And we have a Null Wrapper. So we could actually do a few things here. Get entity. data get the animation data dot get animations for type So, type and set, oh, we've got, so we want to get it for type and set. Um, this is the one we actually want to implement first, which is just type. I guess we just want to call set and type. No, we don't. Control again, move and set. Right. Get animations for type. So we need anims, we pass in anims, and then type. There, pass and set and type, and we'll just or anim and anims if that is there, then don't. I'll get anims for type. And if still nothing, return null. What is this complaining about? Too many arguments and function call. Get anims for type and set. Or set and type.
Get random animation ID by type. I think we just call this guy right here and we just return. We get random animation ID by type and set. I mean, we pretty much want to. want to grab our current set, but if it doesn't, if nothing's in our current set, we need to go down the order. object I want movement of. Get animation for type and set. This needs to be something we use. Boolean get first. Bool random. If get first, return that. If random, 32 index equals. Take a look at FMath real quick. I'll just say. Just rand. Returns a random integer between 0. Do we have rand? Rand float? Or is it F rand? Returns random between 0 and 1 inclusive. Oh, that sucks. Fine, we'll just use our. U dash can math utils. And random int, go from zero, random int range, zero to anims.num minus one. Not bad. So, get animations for type and set. We just need to make sure we can actually call this or something. This also should be somewhere else. It should be like on. It should be on the animation thing actually. So let me move it over there.
Object should not have these anymore. Get animation for type. The current animation for velocity. Alright, well, this one can have current animation for set for velocity. Type make a duplicate function. Should be return in entity or some in parent. Get animation data. Starting to really slow down here. You can tell I'm just draining all the all the juice from my brain's left suddenly. So let's see, set equals get movement set and all that crap. So we got typeset, get first random, uh, that should be good to go. We need to actually implement these things. Let's get information, let's get random animation, 
Um, we're gonna pass in true here for this. Forget random animation. By type. Animation name, type, and set. Well, let's see. So, wrapper equals get animation for type and set, and we're passing in random to true. No, it's first to true. So, we'll do false true. And that'll get a random animation by type. Random animation, ID by type and set. So if wrapper does not equal null pointer and wrapper flip book does not equal null pointer, return wrapper flip book, get unique. Set doesn't matter while this is there. It's just type set false true. Right. Get first animation by type. It's going to be just normal like this. Get first animation by type and set. Get last animation is gonna look like this. False, false, and this one will be false, false as well. Not be redeclared outside of its class. Okay. All right. Well, I think that might actually have it. Let's compile and see if we screwed everything up or not. All
the definition of formal parameter set. So it should just be this. Right. And I think we're pretty close to done. And I think there'll be a bit more cleanup of this code. This, this stuff is kind of crap, so we're going to have to redo it. We basically want a nice look up for these animations. But we're getting closer. Things are moving towards good. We're kind of at like that halfway spot right now where things are kind of good and kind of shit. One step at a time. So if all goes well, everything should be crashing as expected. So what is this? This is Get animation for type and set. It's this anim data is just entity doesn't exist yet. Alright, well that should fix that. We're just not grabbing the variables that we thought we were. Alright, so we are able to do that, so what we want to do is we want to go into our character, Batsack, his AI, and we want to call a better thing for Dig. Instead of all this garbage here, we should be able to just call um, something a lot simpler. We should be able to look at his animations, because he's got these animations, so we want special underscore Dig. This is what it looks like. So it's um get anim animation and we're gonna do get animation ID by name. And that should replace all the rest of that stuff. And let's see if they dig. I don't see him digging at all.
Well, let's see. That, that would be... Putting a breakpoint there, and let's... Let's take a look real quick at his AI for his idol as well. Because he's supposed to switch from... He's supposed to go to Fat Sack. Yeah, see, this is wrong. The Fat Sack Idol is going back to the Idol. It should go to Fat Sack Big. There he goes. He's digging. So we successfully replaced all of this trash here. With this. Which I think is a pretty big improvement. So I think that pretty much calls it for me right here. So if anybody's got any questions or anything else, let me know now. Otherwise, I am going to get out of this. Get out of this. Because my brain is done. I'm finished with thinking. We got a lot done today. We, uh... We changed our player to entirely being driven by blueprints for all of his movement and all the logic there. We exposed a whole bunch of data to our blueprints, so blueprints are now actually useful. Um, we re-implemented FATSAC inside of blueprints exclusively, and then we went through and did kind of another pass on the entire thing again after getting it done and making it a lot simpler and easier to actually grab stuff off of our uh, off of our object so making a blueprint is not just pulling teeth which is actually pretty cool like you know it, it's actually starting to look like non non garbage as opposed to just just garbage so it's getting better it's getting better that's pretty pretty awesome actually So cool, uh, thanks for joining me, and we will be continuing tomorrow, probably. Let me take a look at what I've got for tomorrow. So tomorrow, what we'll be working on is probably an effects system. So what we'll be working on is a system by which we can play visual effects, and and these visual effects will be basically like um, nice and easy to spawn things like create an explosion at this location in the world or create this particle system thing and it'll also have like sound effects and stuff and kind of these static methods that you can call from anywhere that's like make an explosion it'll be like okay cool I'll make an explosion over here for you no problem and that way anywhere in code you can say make this thing happen and it'll go happen so, yeah, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. And that should be pretty cool. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys have a good day. And, you know what? So, good night.
Goodbye.